Welcome to Conversations with Candidates. I'm Thora Jurgensen, news editor of the daily item, itemlive.com. Our guest is Democratic candidate for Sheriff, Essex County Sheriff, William Castro. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Welcome. Quite welcome. Tell us about your background and why are you running for Sheriff? My name is William Castro. Um, I'm a Democrat seeking to become the next Sheriff of the Essex County. Uh, I grew up in Lawrence and I presently live um, in Methuen, Massachusetts. I started my career with the Sheriff's Department back in 1999, 17 years ago. Um, sergeant supervisor in the department. In 2005, I was assigned to the uh, Drug Enforcement Administration as an undercover. Uh, for 11 years, I have been in the shadows of every community targeting drug trafficking and crime in our cities. Um, I consider myself very instrumental in addressing the uh, opiate crisis, a problem that continues to affect the quality of life in our cities. I'm running for sheriff because uh, I want to keep assisting uh, the department, uh, promoting respect and professionalism among all employees of the sheriff's department, the community we represent, and I want to implement programs that are beneficial to inmates, to their lives outside of prison. Could you talk a little more about how the sheriff's department can help reduce and eventually end the opiate addiction crisis that we face? Opiate crisis is not going to end. Um, it's not going to end anytime soon, but we can assist other communities deal with the problem. One of the problem, uh, one of the ways we can assist is with detox centers, helping them uh, because we get them uh, when they're bad, when they were in the worst, uh, when they're coming down from the drugs. So if we have some type of detox center that we can help them out with the medical uh, problems, I, I think that's going to be beneficial in that department. What is the most important role the sheriff's department? plays in this area, in roughly the North Shore area, that includes the communities in the county. In regards to? In terms of, well, working with law enforcement in the cities and towns, but w why is it an important department? It's important because our, our department uh, brings a lot of, uh, is a lot of knowledge on our departments, a lot of unique ideas, and in, in our employees of the Essex County Sheriff Department a key role in, in how we keep custody and control of the inmates, as well as uh, programs that we provide to our inmates, and how we assist the local uh, communities in regards to patrol, you know, uh, helping them out uh, crime areas. Um, we have key personnel and tag, you know, attached to different law enforcement agencies uh, like DEA, FBI. Uh, INS, which is law, Homeland Security. Uh, we assist them with our canine units. So every time there's something going on in the city, the Sheriff's Department is like in the shadows in the background assisting the local. Uh, we also uh, remove graffiti from the walls in our communities. Uh, we help uh, clean, the, clean the city, take the garbage, and um, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that the Sheriff's Department does that uh, the the uh, community doesn't doesn't recognize it unless they see the sheriff department uh, vehicle out there. What else would you like to stress about your candidacy? My candidacy, I bring very positive uh, ideas into the department, uh, into the sheriff department. Respect, uh, professionalism is up most uh, important. Um, I want to make sure that our officers are well taken care of because our officers in our department, we got 678 employees on our department. And uh, our main job is custody, care, and control. But in a point, we, we are in charge also as an individual of rehabilitation. Uh, if we trash an inmate, if we talk down to an inmate, uh, we doesn't give them uh, positive reinforcement, that email is going to come up to the community and it's going to not only affect the correctional facility, it's going to take it on the local law enforcement agencies and in the public. So how we treat emails on the inside, it kind of affect in how emails get released into our community. Uh, our programs are very beneficial. Um, if we implement programs that will keep emails connected to the family and to their community as well, I think that's the only hope in targeting email reservism. We have to, from day one, we have an assignment uh, through our offices, through the, uh, providing the programs to the inmates, 
and keeping them connected to the community. Thank you. This has been Conversations with Candidates. Our guest is Democratic candidate for Sheriff William Castro. I am Thor Jurgensen, news editor of the daily item, itemlive.com. Please remember to vote on Thursday, September 8th. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Pleasure.